mountain region, these people came over on the boats years and years ago, uh, brought their different cultures and different musical styles and, and lifestyles with them to make a new life in, the, in a new world. The mountains kind of served as a place to, I guess they, some of them might, might have got tired when they started going through the mountains. It's a rough country, rough terrain, no roads, no way to get around. And, uh, so that kind of stopped everybody. And as they settled, the different cultures, the Irish people, the English people, uh, the Scots, Irish, Scottish people, and the enslaved Africans that were brought over later on, um, all those people brought their own musical stylings and their own culture. And when that stuff started coming together, it made something special, which we believe is the foundation of American music in general, uh, especially old-time mountain music, uh, bluegrass music, folk music, and all those different uh, styles. So we want to uh, hope we can stand and uh, represent that a little bit and tell you a little bit of the story tonight about the Appalachian Roadshow. So y'all sit back and enjoy yourselves. We hope you have fun with us. Yeah. One of the great instruments that came over as well was the fiddle, and we'll tell you we won't tell you any more about it. We'll just let him uh, do a little sawing on it. One of the finest in all the country. Bill Monroe wrote this song out of that Scots Irish style and uh, put that driving mandolin in it, which Darrell Webb will do his best to channel with. <laughs> this young man, there's no finer in the country than Mr. Jim Van Cleef from Woo! Cat Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.